Good morning everyone. My name is Dr. Manisha Rujandani. I am second year postgraduate resident at Maharshi Mukandeshwar Institute of Medical Science, Mulana. So the topic of my paper that I will be presenting today is a study of variant of celiac trunk, hepatic artery and renal arteries by city angiography in local population. So, in the modern era of imaging and intervention due to the advancement of surgeries and radiological intervention, there is an utmost importance of knowing the variation in hepatic artery, celiac excess and renal artery to avoid the atrogenic injuries to these vessels. The variation in the anatomy of celiac excess and hepatic artery carry a significant importance in procedures such as liver transplant, laparoscopic surgery, or uh, abdominal radiological intervention. In fact, an identification of renal artery variation holds a considerable importance in renal transplantation uh, or interventional treatment of renovascular hypertension or in case of nephrectomy. Although the gold standard procedure for evaluating the vascular structure is digital subtraction angiography, but due to its invasive nature, it has limited rule. So nowadays, MDCT is used in place of DSA for evaluation of vascular structure due to its less invasive nature and excellent image quality. So the aim of my study is to evaluate the examination of anatomical variation of celiac trunk hepatic arterial system and renal arteries. So the methods we have gone through is, I have done the retrospective analysis of 200 patients who have undergone contrast enhanced city abdomen in uh, Mahershi Mukandeshwar Institute of Medical Science for various reasons in last one year. So the vascular system analysis was done in the celiac axis, hepatic artery and renal arterial anatomy was analyzed using the axial, coronal, SAG, MIP and 3D volume rendered image. Celiac axis variation were analyzed using Oflacker classification system. Hepatic uh, artery variation were al analyzed using Michel classification along with Hayat classification. The renal arteries were assessed with respect to their origin and the number of arteries and laterality. So the results were obtained. Uh, the first celiac trunk variation in which we have used the Flacker classification. There are total eight types. Uh, the most common type is the normal classic celiac trunk, which we have seen in 90% of the population. In type 2, we have hepatosplenic trunk. In type 3, we have hepatogastric trunk. In type 4, we have hepatosplenic mesenteric trunk. And in type 5, we have gastrosplenic trunk. Type 6, celiac mesenteric trunk and type 7 is celiac colic trunk and type 8 is no celiac trunk. So, here is a diagrammatical representation of uh, celiac trunk variation. Here we can see that this is a type 1 which is the classic celiac trunk. Then we have type 2 which is hepatosplenic trunk. Uh, then we have type 3 which is hepatogastric trunk. Then we have type 4 which is hepatospleno and mesenteric trunk. Then we have type 5 uh, which is splenogastric trunk. Then we have type 6 uh, which is celiac mesenteric trunk. So uh, here is a 3D reconstructed image showing the normal origin of the celiac trunk. This is the normal origin of celiac trunk, then its branches. We can see this is a left gastric, uh, this is the gastric uh, artery. Then uh, we have the hepatic artery and here is the splenic artery. So, a uh, 3D uh, reconstructed view uh, image showing hepatic artery, splenic artery, then this is a celiac trunk and here is a mesenteric artery and we can see that there is a separate origin of the ga ga uh, gastric artery. So, hepato, spleno, a mesenteric trunk, we can see that. So, this is type 4 uh, Michel class, uh, type 4 of lacquer classification. Then this is a 3D reconstructed view uh, showing the common origin of the celiac trunk and hepatic artery. So this is the uh, celiac mesenteric trunk. 
then we come to the hepatic artery variation in hepatic artery variation we use two classification mischel and hayat classification so uh, the normal anatomy is the type 1 of both the classification then if the uh, the left artery is replaced and it is originating from the left gastric artery uh then the replaced right hepatic artery originating from the superior mesenteric artery that is type 3 mischel classification which we see in the 9% uh, of the population then we can see the coexistence of the type 2 and 3 that is type 4 mischel classification then we can also see the accessory left hepatic artery originating from the left gastric artery which is the type 5 mischel uh, mischel classification which we see in 5.5% of the population then we have the accessory right hepatic artery originating from the superior mesenteric artery which is type 6 mischel classification which we see in 1.5% of the population so here is a 3d reconstructed view shows the accessory left hepatic artery originating from the left gastric artery so this is the mischel type 5th 5 uh, classification uh then uh, this is a 3d reconstructed view showing the uh, accessory right hepatic artery originating from the superior mesenteric artery so this is the mischel type 6 classification then this is a 3d reconstructed view shows the replaced right hepatic artery and it is originating from the uh, superior mesenteric arteries and uh, this is a common hepatic artery continues as a left gastric artery now th this is the again 3d reconstruct view shows the uh, replaced right hepatic artery arising from the, originating from the superior mesenteric artery and uh, we can see that there are the two renal arteries on the left side on blue then we come to the renal artery uh, variation so a uh, one renal artery on each side we have seen in 158 patient and two renal arteries on left we have seen on 21 uh, patient and two renal arteries on right side we have seen 15 uh, number of patient and two renal arteries on each side we have seen in six number of patient so here is a 3d reconstructed view shows the two renal artery on left side then we have an another uh, 3d view showing the two renal artery on right side one is seen from the posterior aspect so uh, the gastrointestinal system receive its blood supply from the three vessel arising at three different level in abdominal aorta there may be variation in these vessels due to the difference uh, during embryonic development celiac trunk with normal trifurcation have a frequency of 70 2 to 90 percent in the normal population as per previous study. So the study of renal artery variation is also important as create a problems for the surgeons. So what we concluded that the variation in celiac axis, hepatic artery, and renal artery are common in day to day practice. So uh, we should be aware of these things and to avoid the complications and injuries during the surgical procedure and radiological intervention. With the use of MDCT, these variation can be easily seen and understood. Therefore, must be assessed in each case pre-operatively. Thank you.